Hey, Rafa, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm, I'm good. A little bit tired, but I'm good. What about you? Yeah. Nah, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, the typical, you know, a lot of activities, a lot of work, so it's good. It's Monday. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good and bad, right? It's Monday, um, so it's beginning the week, but the it's our last day, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? What are you going to practice your English afterwards? Well, I don't know if one of the guys of the group all want to practice with me, or I think that's a good idea. There are some ones that I, con I consider that they like, have the commitment to do that. Okay, I don't know. I I I haven't received any news about when it's going to be the next uh, the the next start of the group or the next uh, class when it's going to start. And uh, do you know when? No, they didn't say anything. Okay. And usually, usually, how time passes between one module and to another module? Um, usually about two weeks uh, or a week and a half. Okay. So I imagine that uh, this week, uh, obviously no, and then probably next week, no, and then they're going to begin the first week of November. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. I hope, because also the, it's important to, to continue and not waste too much time. Yeah, it's important to continue with the process mm -hmm. because if you, if you don't practice or don't keep practice the language, uh, you start uh, like you start over again and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think maybe October 4th, maybe around there, that's when they're going to start because that'll be enough time to do everything. That'll be two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. But it's good. It's good to have a little break. But also, you say ah, a little break is okay. But too much ah, is bad. It's bad for yeah. It's it, it's for bad because, uh, mm -hmm. for example, uh, my I know that my listening and my uh, writing skills are pretty good, but not my spoken skills, and I need practice really. Yeah, because I have the information here, but <laughs> it's too difficult <laughs> to to speak for me. It becomes difficult even if even if I have it all all, all the knowledge or all the information in my head. This is the hard part. Yeah, the part is to to become fluent quickly. And you only uh, will get way influent with practice. Yeah, that's it. The reality is that it, you, in order to be fluent in uh, vocabulary and grammar, you can study. It's not a problem. But fluency only with practice. Yeah. Practicing and practicing and practicing. And uh, that's a hard part of the, the, of the job because there is no people that would want to to practice with you, with me in this kind of case. So I hope that someone of the guys want to practice uh, these these days. Mm. And they don't want to practice in your job or, or where? No, uh, with the guys in the in the group, in the module. Yeah, um... yeah in the group. Yeah, it's no, in my job, I practice, I, I practice, but it's not the same because it's a job. So, for example, today was a busy day. I was a meet, I was in a meeting from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. A long meeting. Yeah, it a, was a long meeting. I only had uh, 30 minutes for my lunch. Oof. Some days are, are more difficult, right? You have to go quickly. 
yeah mm-hmm. you have to solve other things so uh, and sometimes it you have to have to to give your time more time the extra mile for the for the for the for the enterprise because business needs yeah as long as they recognize it's okay because sometimes you give the extra mile and the companies they don't care and they say ah it doesn't matter it's is your job but no is is the extra mile is not your job i know but, but in my case i think there are I'm okay because my boss is a, a really good person with me, and he tried to help me in anything the thing that I ask for him. That's important. That's the important part that you can try and you can do it. And the most important is that you feel that they recognize your work and you feel that hey, yes, they see my effort, they see and they try to help me improve and to grow in the company also. Yes, last week he called. He called me and he told me, "Rafael, want to congratulate you for the job that you are doing. You are doing well." And uh, you feel pretty cool when your boss is calling you and take take the time to call you and and say it, uh, that kind of of things. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> It's good, right? I mean. That's the purpose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The idea is not only for your boss to say, "Hey, you are doing this bad. You are doing this bad. You are doing this bad." Mm-hmm. Good. Hey, Gabby, how are you? Hi, I am fine. A little bit tired because um, yesterday I didn't sleep as early as I wanted, but. But, um, and also it was a busy day. It was one of those days, but I'm fine. It's good because I, I didn't get wet today until now it's raining, but it didn't rain when I was in my way home. Okay. It's by, uh, for me, it's raining right now here in in Santa Tecla. So I imagine it's going to rain a little bit later somewhere else. Yeah, I guess um, it's raining here also. And in there's a lot of um, thunder. And, and I think internet is going to fail in, in every moment. Yes. Here in Santa Ana, it's thundering. Um, yeah, here too. But it's, but it's not raining. San Ramon too. Do you know what? It's funny what happened to me. It's that my aunt um, changed the internet plan. So they bring us a new modem and bring us a new box for the channels and all that. It was maybe two weeks ago, and I didn't uh, get the password. I mean, I didn't <laughs> get the, the Wi-Fi. So I realized just today <laughs> that I was using my data all this time. Oh. <laughs> bye bye the data plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's going to be the the first time I I I um finish my my data my internet from the from the plan yeah. so i was really really mad because what how how can i let it pass <laughs> but, well, but it's amazing you that you didn't realize that you were using your data you didn't look at on the phone and say oh it, it does it's no, it fine or something and you know what i've been literally eating a cereal all time in my lunch break and uh, before sleeping in any free time I got I go to Netflix and watch my cereal but this is eating my data too <laughs> yes uh, well things that happens and 
till now, now I'm with my my plan because I didn't remember doing it. And I am and I am trapped in my room because it's raining in, in the I leave my room, I'm going to get wet, and I'm in my pajamas and all that, so I don't wanna get wet. So a night a night more without Wi-Fi. You like more without Wi-Fi? Yeah, because I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't um put the password. Yeah. But did you receive a message? How did you discover that you, you were using your your data plan? I don't know. Oh, I remember that um, my, my provider sent me a, a message uh, asking me if I wanted to, to buy more, more gigas or gigas. Mm -hmm. Data. Uh -huh. So I was like, why are they offering me that? So I go to the app from the provider and then I saw uh, in red that, um, I don't know how to say it, that there's like a, um, like a circle in green that mm -hmm. it's full, that the internet is full and it's going in, in, in it's getting, uh, I don't know, yellow, orange in every time you you con consume that okay now it was in red and i was like what why if i i even got the uh, september 15 free in house in the weekend i was in home why and then i i remembered that Wi-Fi has changed. So I was like, oh, what a fool. <laughs> and that's when you realize, you say, oh, no. Yeah, but it, it was today in, in my work. I was um, guessing, oh, I, I'm, why? It's message. And, and then I realized. Oh, OK, OK. Well, uh, I'm glad you realized it. That way you can make the last day just in case. Uh, I hope everybody had a great weekend and had a great chance to relax a little bit with the family and do things, okay? Enjoy yourself. Today, we're gonna be wrapping up our last day. Uh, before we begin and start doing our other things, I saw somebody wrote uh, a message. I don't know who it is, but it only said Sanchez. Sanchez had a question with 5.4. Does anybody have any questions for the, the platform? I thought we finished last week, but some uh, somebody today only in the WhatsApp group, it only says Sanchez, but I don't know who it is. No, okay. No, everybody's finished? Yes, sir. Yes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought last week. But like I said, in the WhatsApp group, somebody put a hey, section 5.4. So I'm not sure. So I'm going to maybe they, they maybe it's somebody who doesn't come to the to the classes. They are only uh, online and doing the work from uh, from watching the videos or something. Sometimes that happens. So, okay, in that case, I'm going to take the pictures and, and put them in there if, if, in case that person shows up, they can still do it. Okay. We try to help them a little bit. And the last one, I think. Okay. Well, all right, guys, I, I put the images in there and hopefully it'll help whoever it is that was wanting it. But I'm glad that everybody else is fine. 
Um, have you guys received any additional email? I was talking with, uh, with Rafael and really there is no date uh, when the next course is going to begin. Um, we, I haven't received an email and Rafael said he hadn't received any information either as a student. So I told him that usually it takes about two weeks. So it's probably going to be in two weeks, probably October 4th or somewhere around there when they're going to begin the next course. Sorry, teacher, it's not consecutive, consecutive the, the, the next level. Not usually, there's usually a time, uh, usually one week or uh, usually one week or 10 days. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, so usually it's because they need to... Uh, Mm -hmm. And probably the people of Inglés Corporativo send uh, will be will send the the email with instructions. Yes, I hope so. I hope so that they send it um, uh, fairly soon. But um, you know, it's it's always good to to double check just in case. Sometimes one person doesn't get an email, or sometimes it goes to someone else in human resource or, or something, you never know. Today I have received a call teacher uh, from uh, someone of English Corporativo and she told me that uh, that I need to contact with my human resources uh, uh, to request uh, all the information that, that you need to for the next uh, module. Oh, okay. But only that, uh, no date, uh, not more information about it. Only they told you contact the human resource. Yeah. Okay. The well, teacher, it's probably you will be our teacher again. It maybe it's it's possible. It all because we um, usually we have one module or two modules, but this is our first module, so together. So probably we have one more together still. Okay. Very well. Yes, you're right. I hope so. Hey, today we have a lot of students. Huh? It's the last day. Everybody wants to participate, huh? Dalia, what happened? Why are you so serious? No, because I think, because I, I cooking for tomorrow. And then I, I tried to stay in the, in the class and I tried to... To go to okay. go to my my stuff, yeah. Yes, and you then, look very uh, concentrated. Yes, I see your face and you look very concentrated. Like yeah, yes, I, I, I focus in something else. <laughs> yes, I need to go for for the time. But that's mm. I am good. What are you, what I, are you cooking, day, Um, I don't know. What do you say? Pasta de pollo. Anybody know how for the sandwich? For the sandwich? Chicken pasta? Oh, no. Chicken paste? Pasta. Chicken no. paste? Uh, uh, maybe, yes. Maybe. Chicken paste? Because it's not nice pasta, like a spaghetti. Mm -hmm. It's pasta for the sandwich. Uh, mm, for yes. a spread. For a spread. Chicken spread. Yes. Yes. Um, maybe. Yes. Maybe chicken. Yes. 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 Is they, they yes. Have, it's very common that you see a sandwich spread. Oh, maybe yes. Mm -hmm. For sandwich. And then because yes, because I uh, going to the San Miguel for the next uh, Wednesday to Friday, and I need to uh, uh, cook for around three days for my husband and my family. <laughs> Dalia, I have a question. Yeah. Dalia, yes. I have a question, yes. Dalia. Yes. Do you do Tell you me. add do you add cabbage? And this chicken spread in your recipe? The, um, yes, onion and what? Um, onion, um, garlic. Um, what? What more? Um, mustache. Yes, and cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah. Cabbage. Yes. And yes. a little bit of spices. Ah, uh, but yes, I like the spices. 
Yes, and the uh, to uh, the the onion fried to the maybe uh, butter. Oh. No, the margarina. I like more uh, butter. Okay. Butter. Yes. Yes. Is Dalia, delicious. are you from San Miguel? I, I uh, was born in San Miguel, but I uh, going to because we uh, have, um, I, I forgot, sucursal in San Miguel. Guys, how do you say sucursal in English? Branch. Excellent, Anna, that's right. Branch, branch, okay. Branch in San Miguel. In-house print branch. Okay. In San Miguel, and then I need to follow the people, and I need to, uh, a few meeting with our clients in San Miguel, because most of the our client is is staying in San Miguel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you eat pupusas with ketchup? No. No, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. No, 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 no. It's from San Miguel, Dalia. But it's I told you, Chuco, uh, sweet, uh, sweet, I told Chuco, yes. Uh, but no pupusas with that tattoo. No, no way. <laughs> this no is way. not good. No, no way, Jose. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, well, guys, we're going to get... If uh, just to make sure, I don't want to begin and make the groups. First, anybody have any questions about the platform, <clears throat> exercise, any activity? Hmm. No. I don't know who Sanchez is, but Sanchez said thank you in the in the WhatsApp group, but I, I maybe never come to the class. <laughs> Sanchez, if you are watching this video after the class, Good job in <laughs> completing by yourself. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about our growing up. We're going to talk about our hometown, our traditions, our childhood. What did you do? How did you have fun? Because today you look at the society and you see all of the children, all of the people, they don't go out with their friends. They don't go riding a bicycle. They don't go play Mika, the tag. They don't do all of these things. They are, you ask them, what did you do? Ooh, TikTok, uh, YouTube, and uh, Instagram. Uh, only, that's it. That's it. They don't, that, they don't have physical interactions. So we're going to talk about you and your childhood. Where did you grow up? How was it? What did you do? Hey, do you remember how it was your life? And then we're going to talk about the future. How do you think it's going to be for the next generation? How is their childhood going to be? How is going to be their life after school when they're children or when they're growing up, okay? Before we begin, do you need any vocabulary? Any vocabulary, for example, hey, how did you say eh, Mika? How did you say eh, Escondelero? Eh, eh, no, 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 you, it's okay, all of those words? Uh, how do you say Mika? <laughs> I imagine, I imagine. Mika is tag. Tag. Okay. Ladron librado. Spell, please. Spell, yes, please. I put Tag. it. Yes, I put Tag. it in the chat. It's already okay. in the chat. Tag. Tag. Yes. Ladron librado. The name would be cops. Oops, sorry. Cops with S. Escondelero. Cops. High and side. High and seek. That's right. Height and seek. They can destroy. Excellent. Um, Escondelero, hide and seek. Hide and seek. Mm -hmm. Bachillerato stop. Hey, that's, that's <laughs> bachillerato stop is bachillerato stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, ule. Where is Ule? Dalia. Ule. Uh, the two people put in uh, a big ule and you jump inside and outside. Inside I and remember outside. that. Yes. <laughs> but it's not jump rope. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's, not, it's not jump rope. I, I, I don't know. It's because two people put the uh, big ule and the, 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 play, the player is jump inside and outside and put your 
feet and on the hule. I don't know. Oh, you never... begin from ankle and then you start to get in up your body until the yes. hips, maybe. I don't remember. I have never seen this game. I have never ah. I, I have never seen an ule so big. A, a, a rubber. A, okay. A Thanks. rubber band. Really. Um, I, I, how old are you, teacher? I, I, I don't know this 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 ule game. Never in my life. Ah oh. no, it's not Irina. How old are you, teacher? I'm 42. Okay, it's like I this. remember Ule. I remember Ule. Uh -huh. yes. like this. Oh. Huh? And the children right. jump and Henry, uh, the name that you want is marble. Is a traditional like a Santa Cuerdas. Uh-huh. It's it's jump rock. Ah. Uh, Ah, saltar la goma, dice. Oh. Peregrina. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, peregrina. Mm -hmm. Peregrina. Peregrina, uh, peregrina, other traditional yeah. games. Jack. Right. Pecado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Santa cuerda. That, yes, that's the jump rope. Jump rope. That's the jump rope. Mm -hmm. Soldier and police. Ah, uh, well, yes, yes, the idea, but. The same idea, cops and robbers, cops and robbers. Ah, cops, okay. Uh -huh. But cops. In, in El Salvador, we changed for soldiers and because it, for, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Also, we had the game uh, was, cops. Mm. cops was a, a little piece of wood. You put the string around the string and you throw to make spin. Trompo. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more time. What are we going to do with our partners? We're going to describe our childhood. What did you do? How did you play? How did you enjoy the life before? And then we're going to think, how is going to be the life for the next generation? How are they going to enjoy the life? What are they going to do? Is it was our life better or do you think theirs is going to be better? So we're going to take a moment and we discuss with our partners. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. 
There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither, to agree with a negative I see everybody smiling. Remember, hi, when I was <laughs> hi, with my friends, hi. <laughs> All the things that you did. So tell me a little bit. Tell me about the what your partner said and what you learned about your partner, about how they used to do the things in the past. Brenda, do you want to start? Oh, okay, okay, teacher. Um... Mirna, my partner is Mirna. Uh, she speaks uh, the continuing Lex, Lex module. Um, she speaks uh, with the traffic. It's, today is very much traffic, but um, I have the uh, inundation. 
floodings ah uh, floodings ah floodings um he uh, she she's she's happy but uh, uh she learns the english <laughs> okay, okay. I think you and Mirna talk about a different topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, Mirna, tell me, what did you talk with Brenda? Hello, teacher. I was speaking with Brenda. Uh, he doesn't continue the study English because his, her husband is in, in ability. And he he had he had a traveling motorcycle, and she needs past time with her family. But I tell you that when she has opportunity, continue studying English because it's important. Uh, English open doors and wherever place, and it is important continue English. Brenda, I am confused. What happened with your husband, Brenda? Oh? Huh? What happened uh, with your husband? He has accident in motorcycle in August. And uh, he's in ability. And uh, he finished uh, in capacity in October. Oh, wow. A big yeah. accident. A big accident. Yeah. yeah. And for this reason, you don't continue studying English in the next module? Uh, uh, no, uh, I need the time for my husband. It's very difficult to study English and attend my husband and my daughter and my son. Uh, the next month, uh, I, I think uh, they are continuing continuing studying English okay yeah okay well I it, it's good that your husband is recovering and little by little this is uh it's necessary the time this is the most important the English yes is good but is if you don't have health then it's no part there's no purpose to have English so first the health and then you go on with your English Okay. Well, good luck, Brenda, for you and your husband. I hope he recovers quickly and you can return to your studies. Okay. Claudia, tell me about you and your partner. Uh, yes. Uh, my partner were Ana Dimas and Elsie, but we couldn't hear Ana. But uh, Elsie shared with us that uh, she used to play with cars, high and sick. Um, also, he used to play with dolls. She, 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 she sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she used to play with dog, with dolls, um, with her cousin, I think. And I think that was all. I don't remember another one. Okay. No problem. Elsie, what did you learn about Claudia? Um, okay. Sorry for Anna. <laughs> we talk a lot and <laughs> <laughs> but no problem. <laughs> okay. But Claudia uh, told us um he he used he, to play he. jacks. Um sorry? She 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 <laughs> uh, play jacks hide away and hide also see. hide and see mm -hmm. also um she liked a uh, to ride a horse and also uh, she i i think uh, she likes um to ride a tricycle and skate, if I not, uh, if I don't, re if I remember well, that's it. 
Claudia, can you ride a horse? Yes, I used to. Um, I used to ride when I was a child. Wow. Yes. You, this is nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Did, did you ride? Did you ride the horse for fun or for uh, or for uh, going to school or for what? No, for fun because my my dad had a horse and he used to I don't know how, come to to the beach with a horse. Ah. Wow. Yes. Claudia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we we had fun in that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Too bad for the partner Anna, right? That Anna didn't have a chance to speak. No. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> no, but I I understand. Uh, uh, she, uh, Claudia and Elsie, because uh, uh, she was an emotion when they talking about. As you say, experience in the past. Okay, okay. Yes, when you begin speaking, you ah, you remember, you remember, you. Remember. <laughs> yes. okay. All right, Henry. Tell me about you and your partner. Okay, my partner is Dalia, and she told me about the games that she played when she was a, a child. Yeah, it's, it's right, you use child. Yeah. And uh, she, I told her that the games that I, I played when I was like science, science five, five years until 10 years and was the same, the same game. Because I've, I think that I live the transition between the normal games and the virtual games that is normally now. So it's, it's like. Okay, okay. So she, now, Henry, you or Dahlia missed the transition? No, I, me, I okay. lead the transition because the games that she say that she played, I play too, but I only played that that games when I was uh, ten years or, or younger. Okay. So it's like I, I leave the transition between the normal games and the virtual games. Okay. Okay. And that, what did you learn? Huh? Sorry. No, is is because I uh, I thought is uh, Henry. Henry is like me because uh, he played uh, the same game. And I, <laughs> I have a, a daughter at the same age with Henry, for example. That is your but daughter next I, to you. It's my daughter. Yes, uh-huh. I saw her, <laughs> when you said daughter, I, I, what, daughter? Yes. Huh? What, what happened? Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good, and you? I'm really tired right now because I have uh, work to do. <laughs> uh -huh. It's good. You motivate your mom to speak English. You motivate your mom to practice more English. Yeah, sometimes I help her with her pronunciation and the grammar. <laughs> no, That's but it is, it's terrible to uh, talk uh, with my daughter because they very punish, punish me. Yeah, very. Uh, I push her to do better because I know she can't. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, <excellent. laughs> no. uh -huh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, she se desquita with me. <laughs> uh huh. But when you were mom, mom, te acordas? You remember? You said get nines, get nine. Eight. Yes. And you're great. <laughs> Yes, and then Harry, Harry, I, I remember um, a lot of games. Yes, and but I, uh, I appreciate what they he say because uh, I lost uh, a lot of games with uh, I I was childhood, 
because, for example, my 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 son is uh, the youngers. The youngers is uh, twenty one, and they and he only played uh, the video, the video games and but no play soccer, for example, no play, uh, no play um, Amica or like something, yeah? Mm. And Henry say that he lived a uh, tra- transition with that to play, play normal with play the uh, virtual game, yeah? It is really inter- interesting, interesting about that, yeah? Because he's a very young, yeah, and I thought he's only played a uh, uh, virtual games, but but don't, but didn't because they played to a uh, a normal games <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes now they don't. So good, good between yes. you. Yes, it's good conversation. Excellent. Javier, how about you? Who was your partner? My partner was Carla Ivani, yeah? And she told me about the place she played. And she played tag and hide and seek and jacks. And she told me that her grandpa helped her to build a kite with him a handmade kite and and I played the similar games. Uh, I played uh, cars and soldiers. I built the castles and the river. I did the war with other boys. I remember that. Okay, all right. Carla, what did you learn? What, what did I, Javier tell you? Hi, um, Javier, tell me about, um, play, he played the, the craft, um, other boys, um, played the, escucha, kite, kite, yeah, um, Javier, tell me um, the future uh, games. Probably is virtual, more or virtual. Okay, all right. Only- <laughs> Not so much physical games, more virtual games. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. Gabby, who was your partner? Um, my partner was Rafael. And he told me that his childhood was normal, that he was, uh, he told me that he had brothers, but that he was the older, so he didn't play as much with them. He used to play more with with cousins or with his friends, and that he played hide and seek, and cops, and robbers, and normal, normal games. Okay, all right. Rafa? Rafael, your microphone is on mute. Okay. Oh, hi, teacher. Sorry. Uh, Gabi told me well, uh, like the same things that I, that I told to her uh, regarding uh, the games. But uh, there one thing that uh, look my look my attention about her, and it's a one game that she uh, played, and is a a telethon a telethon game. 
<laughs> she play with uh, her cousins and friends uh, that uh, they how they know how a leg or a arm and they have a disability and it's rare it's really rare it play a play a, a kind of game a, that kind of game wait what i'm i'm confused they they had the disability or they no 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 they play as if they had a disability Oh. But no, in, in fact, it doesn't have a disability. Okay. And what game do they play? Teleton. Uh, they call the game uh, Teleton. Teleton. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, ha, hey, maybe she can explain to us. Explain to us how how game how is this game Teleton. <laughs> I'm ashamed. <laughs> no, no, Gabby, it's, it's, it's different. I, I don't know it. it. Try Explain it to us. Okay. Um, I, I was telling Rafa that I have three brothers. I mean, two brothers and one sister. And we didn't play the Norman games. We invented a lot of stuff. And once I don't know why I think because my my brother was walking with a with uh scoba how do you say a broom uh, what broom ah, okay with the room added to the to the leg so it it seems like if he had letters <laughs> so we invented that we we were um, disability persons, and we raced uh, like you know what we're going to pretend being a disabled person, and we're going to see who um, gets first to that uh, to that distance or something. So it was like a race. I don't know, it sounds cruel and it's really weird, but we had a lot of fun playing with that. We, don't we worry. Were, you are, <laughs> we were you are like, kids, you invent the game. <laughs> it was a game, but it was funny because we we get the brute added to, to our legs or or something. We we do something because we the game was we didn't have our complete body. We had the challenge to get to the to the to a certain distance <laughs> without using their two legs. Okay. And only the legs, Gabby. The arms, yes. The arms because uh, we we didn't use that much the arms. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we we were so crazy i was i was telling rafa too that ma, we fight a lot uh, like hit our brother brother or something we play but also we get mad and sad. <laughs> so my parents tired of that situation brought us um boxing job <laughs> so they were like okay fight but with the gloves <laughs> wow okay okay yeah a game is a game when you are young you don't know you play whatever it's not okay yeah, it was a, a <laughs> innocent thing exactly nothing, but i imagine really I, so i'm thinking like imagine to play la teleton with no arm and you say, okay, climb the tree, climb the tree, and no arm. <laughs> yeah, we weren't that extreme, but <laughs> um, it would be a good idea for the play. <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, Rafael put in the chat, uh, I see that Rafael put in the chat that he is looking for a partner to practice English during the weeks that you are not going to have class. Uh, does anybody want to? Uh, communicate with Rafa or tell him, yes, I want to participate or, or something.
Okay, Rafa, no, no partners for practicing English. You see, everybody's quiet. Oh, I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> uh huh, exactly, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Remember, you can continue to use the chat uh, from Inglés Corporativo, is the, the chat continues. So in the mm -hmm. next, when you don't have the module, the chat continue. And when the next module, then they, then they change the chat. But from now, you continue using if you want to practice okay. the same chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can practice speaking, you can practice writing, you can put different, uh, a example for different uh, ideas, vocabulary, idioms, phrases, whatever you like. Hey teacher, I want to tell you around your work with us. Okay, Dalia. It's because I, I, I enjoyed your class because I, I study in La Escuela Americana mm -hmm. a, few, uh, a few years. But you are really nice. You are a good teacher. Yes, it's, it's really I learn uh, I learn around the the um, the platform mm -hmm. because the last uh, the last uh, course I like it, but don't um, uh, don't 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 explain it, the platform. And then I fell a lot of with the platform. But in this course is right. It's really nice because you um, you come you share or you share around the platform, yeah. Or tú nos acompañaste? Yes, a company. A company yes. with the platform. Yes, and you explain it us, and and I like it. I like it, this course. And the next, I hope you are a, <laughs> our teacher again. And thank you very much, yes. Talia. I'm, yes. I'm, yes. Glad, I'm glad you like. Yes. I'm glad you yes. like the class. I like to a lot too because you do uh, that. We have to practice a lot. Mm -hmm. You always say more. that. And the last course, the teacher speak more than us. And yes. And yes. It was very nice, but that was the the point. Yes. <laughs> Your class is very interactive with the with with us. Uh, yes. That's good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I, I am glad you guys enjoyed it. That's the objective, right? The objective is really a, for the class to be fun because mm -hmm. you work, you have a life, you have activities. You don't want to come to practice English and say, I know, <laughs> more <laughs> exercise, more grammar, more. Uh, yes, of course, it's necessary. But the important is to use it, the, in, to feel comfortable. It's not an exercise, it's mm -hmm. your life. And that is the idea to, to help you. So I hope mm -hmm. that you guys continue. I know that uh, Brenda has to take one month off uh, because of her husband. And I hope Brenda that you, uh, you continue after, but the rest of you, hey, I hope that in the next course begin and you say, yes, me, I want to continue practicing and improving my English. Yes. Because you guys are doing good. I like, now I, I see it in, now you are in the groups and in the groups you are speaking. Be, and and yes. then, I, I don't know, I, I, I can no say que, 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 que. And, and now ah, we speak, we speak, make me say it's okay. <laughs> that is the important, that is the important part. So I, I hope that like uh, Rafael mentioned, yes, uh, we don't continue with Inglés Corporativo, but I hope that even in the time you don't continue, that you continue practicing with your partners. You mm -hmm. get part of a habit. It's not necessary one hour every day, but hey, a few minutes, a few minutes. That way you don't forget, yes. that way you don't forget how to make the different things. Yes. Okay. I'm so happy that everybody's going to have. And yes, this is imagine right now it's only pre-advanced. And then after that, you have more. You you continue going and then you go to advanced, and then you go. This is intermediate. Then you go to uh 
uh, pre-advance and then advance and then woo, you still have a, a long time that you can practice a lot. You can improve a lot. Mm -hmm. Teacher? Yes. yes, Maria. Okay, I have to share about the, the games. Yes, Maria. Yes, yes, please, please share. <laughs> Okay. Yes, before we forget, uh, yes. <laughs> my partner was Ana Pineda. Okay. okay, okay. And she told me that when she grew up, um, she liked, liked to, to play um, cup and rolls, um, to uh, hide and seek, and Dolly is like Barbie. Uh, Maria, Maria, you are mute. You are mute, Maria. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. I, I don't know if, if you hear Only me. Only cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Oh, cops and robbers. Um, she played with Barbies. Dolly, Barbies. Barbies. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hide and seek. In skating, <laughs> I ride a bike. Okay, she go out, went out uh, to play with her friends, her neighbors, and her niece uh, all the afternoons when she grew up. And in the weekend, she went to the to the beach every week. I I I understood that <laughs> like and she was very funny yes she she played too much too much okay. games okay okay a good life a lot of activities anna played a lot of activities yes yeah. okay anna what did you learn about maria well maria used to play marbles with boys and she wasn't very good, but she uh, played that. Then she uh, said me that she plays football and softball, and she wasn't very good in that game, but she was good ro a good runner. So she likes to be a fielder to go to to go behind. Uh, no, to go atrás de la pelota, back to the ball. Behind the ball. Behind the ball. And that. And, and what game was that, Anna? Softball. Ah, and softball. Ah, the, the catcher. She she was the catcher. Fielder, she told me. A fielder. Uh -huh. I run. I run behind the ball and throw to the players. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Hey. So as we see in, in the class, we have a lot of athletes. Hey, do you remember you know, the right horses that play this, that play that, that cops and robbers, all of the different activities. That's excellent. And how do you imagine is the life of the teenagers now? <laughs> Only the cell phone, right? Only the tablets. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. Most of the time, only Netflix, only YouTube. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Well, guys, I, I want to thank you so much for coming to class for the last four weeks. I want to thank you so much for, for making an effort because I know it's difficult when you work and you study and you have the life and the family. And in El Salvador, we have the storm and the internet and oof, so many things. Yes. <laughs> it's an effort. So thank you so much for, for trusting in me and, and uh, giving me the opportunity to teach you. And I hope that we continue again in the next module. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you for all. Thank, thank, you, so thank much. you. It's okay, Brenda. Thank I you see so it. much. Okay. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, guys. Thank Take you. care. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.